Okay, so recently to hit the stores was this little gem that some people have already got and some people, well, I've heard about. This is the Angry Connor. It's a British Tier 5 TD and of course it's a premium tank because you have to buy it. It's a bit weird and it's very unique. So what is this tank all about? Well, let's have a look. <laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Splits and today we're going to look at the Angry Connor, the British Tier 5 Tank Destroyer or as I like to call it, the Backward TD. I think, I mean, this was probably inspired by the Spike Milligan song I'm Walking Backwards for Christmas across the Irish Sea. It's a strange tank and I'll give you a bit of history about it. The Angry Connor is actually what they call an Archer, which is a British TD. Now the Archer was developed because during the war the British had a load of Valentine chassis which were basically obsolete and were capable of taking a 17 pound gun. The only problem was when they tried to marry the two together it didn't really work so they had to rear mount the turret. This is why the gun faces backwards which is why it looks like you're going faster in reverse than you are going forwards. You're not. You're actually going forwards but it's in a reverse gear in the game. It's very strange indeed. But that's how it was in real life, because they had to mount the turret and the gun facing in the opposite direction for it to be married to the Valentine chassis. Now, the term Angry Connor actually derives from a, an Irish army officer, uh, a chap called Garrett O'Connor, who was pretty upset that, it, that Ireland wasn't taking part in the war, so he uh, legged it across the sea to Great Britain, joined the British Army and basically took an active role in, as a commander of a Valentine Mark I Archer, which he named, well, he didn't name it anything. He actually, he painted it various colors and did all the war paint that you see. And everybody called it the Angry Connor because not that Garrett O'Connor was particularly angry, but he was a particularly talented and brave officer. And therefore it was an appropriate name at the time. Soldiers do these things. So it's a real tank. It's as simple as that. It really did exist. So what about the tank itself? Well, let's have a look at it. HP wise, it's got 600 hit points. Not that bad compared to other tier five TDs. DPM, well, it's got the best DPM of tier five TDs at 2,183. You'll get pretty good penetration on this thing at about 171. Damage is slightly average at 160 on your standard AP, dropping to 135 on your APCR, but the penetration jumps up to 239 on your heat. Well, sorry, HE, you will get damage of 200, which again is pretty average. Now, your rate of fire, you're going to have a reload time of just shy of four and a half seconds, which gives you a rate of fire of just over 13 and a half rounds a minute. Aim time, it's just shy of two seconds. Gun depression, as uh, a TD, and the gun faces the wrong way, so you're only going to get seven degrees, and elevation's only 15 degrees. Speed, now this is the funny part. If you go forward, you'll do a maximum 12 kilometers an hour. If you go backwards, however, you'll do 32. And that's the funny thing about this thing. What about its armor? No, uh, it's a TD. It's pretty paper thin. Now, the Valentine itself, for example, the chassis that this tank is based on, the armor on that isn't too bad. But this is an open turreted fixed casemate pointing the wrong way. As you can see there, it's pretty naff there's not much to that armor. And most things, in fairness, will pen you. It's that straightforward, guys. You know, I mean, this is a very tricky tank to play. Now, this is it facing off against the KV-1, which is the tier five Russian heavy. And as you can see, it's gonna go through it like a hot knife through butter. So you've gotta be careful with this thing. It is very tricky. And it's tricky for two reasons. One, it's a typical TD. It's not got great armor. And secondly, you've got to keep driving it in reverse, which means you've got, 
you know, turret t turretless TDs at the best of times are not the easiest tanks to drive, let alone one that you have to go backwards all the time to get anywhere in any meaningful time. So you've got to be aware of the positions that you want to put your tank in. Now, I'm driving backwards here, with the, in, and I'm mindful that they may come over the ridge where the bridge is here on Falls Creek, but they haven't. So you've got to sort of adapt your, your driving skills to, to drive backwards. <laughs> and, and when you get to your position, you've got to sort of either A, swing it round, or B, be ready to face off against the enemy. It's not an easy tank. It really, really isn't. And as you can see, you can get about, you know, you can get a good turn of speed, but when you go forwards, I mean, look at this, it's like snail's pace, because basically you're now going in reverse. That's how it works, because the gun is pointing the wrong way. It's an interesting tank. It's very unique. Um, it's got a fantastic gun, don't get me wrong. The, the, the hard side is getting your head around the fact that you're pointing the wrong way at all times. That's really tricky, guys. And a lot of people uh, will struggle in this tank. But that doesn't take any of the fun away from it. In fact, because it's so challenging and so tricky, it can be fun. And trust me, it will really improve your ability on driving a turretless TD. Well, I think it does anyway, because you're now more concerned about the positioning of your tank. And that's what makes this tank, in my opinion, fun to play with. Because if you put it in the right spot, boy, you can be a, an effective TD. Some people like to camp in this thing. Well, yeah, you can do that, you know. I mean, the camo profile isn't exactly brilliant. Stick a camo net on it and you're okay. And as you can see here in this game, I've already taken a couple of shots into me, so yeah, it, it, everything will pen you guys. It's very rare that you bounce anything in this thing. But it's a fun little tank. And I know a lot of people hate it because they can't get used to this going backwards malarkey. But, but like I said, I mean, it will improve your skills. And it, don't forget, it's a tier five, guys. So the tier five is the training ground, in my opinion, in Blitz. Once you, you know, I mean, let's be honest, if you want to learn to side scrape, you go out in a KV-1. If you want to learn to use a turretless TD correctly, you go out in a Stug-3. This is no different. If you want to improve your driving skills, then this is the ideal tank to do it in. Because, you know, once, the only problem is when you get into another TD, remember, they go faster forwards than they do in reverse. But this one really does test your skills because you have to be aware of how the battlefield progresses, where the enemy is and where you need to be and how you need to get your gun facing off. And you need to be aware that if you're going to go forward when you're trying to get out of trouble, as you can see here, you're going to really struggle to get any speed whatsoever. That's why I think it's a great tank to improve your driving skills. And I, I like it. Well, I don't say it's one of my favourites, but it's okay. I mean, it's a good tank, as I say, to improve your skills. Other than that, yes, it's frustrating because you're driving everywhere backwards. And when you're driving backwards, you've got to be mindful of where your gun's pointing and where the enemy is and blah, blah, blah. And don't forget, I mean, when you're driving backwards, look at the, look at the back of this TD. That back is basically completely flat. There is no way you can bounce anything and you'll just get penned to high heaven if you, get, if you put it in the wrong position. Yeah, you know, you're going out the game quicker than you got into it. This is why it's not an easy tank. And I know a lot of people struggle with it, and I can understand why. Because it's in tier five, the, you know, a lot of the skill base in tier five, people are still learning, they're still relatively new. And this is not a tank for the faint hearted. It really, really isn't. That doesn't mean to say it can't be fun because Boy, it can be a barrel of laughs. I mean, I haven't set the world on fire here, but look, you've got to sort of position yourself in such a way that you can get the turret round and blah, blah, blah. Now, this is me in a game, so I haven't mastered this thing, I'll be honest with you. I very rarely play it. Um, I took it out in a game. Now, this is currently in the store and under the bundles tab, and it comes as basically two offers. 
offer number one for it's around five pounds is you get the, the tank and you get a garage slot if you're willing to spend i don't know ten pounds then you get the garage slot the tank all equipment unlocked seven days of premium 30 rare combat boosters 30 rare free boosters and 30 rare crew xp boosters so you know for an extra fiver you get a lot more if i was buying this tank and i had the budget i would not buy the tank on its own i would get it with the equipment unlocked because that's going to cost you quite a bit of credit so for the extra fiver you save a load of credit and you get a fully equipped tank unfortunately it doesn't come with an avatar boohoo everybody says you're only going to buy it for the avatar of course you are the thing is if you don't like it you spend a tenner you can sell it you can probably get some gold back i personally haven't looked so i'd hate to tell you what it is again this is a unique tank it's not a tank that is to everybody's liking not everybody's going to get on with it not everybody wants it if you're a tank collector it's nice to have in your garage if you want a unique tank it's not a bad price i mean a tenner for a pixelated tank with everything unlocked that bad to be fair in wargaming are correct if you buy the full bundle with all the equipment unlocked you do save 50 percent it's simple economics in my book but i wouldn't i wouldn't advise you to go out and buy this thing just for the sake of buying it make sure it's within your budget and make sure it's a tank you're gonna want to play because a lot of people to be fair they'll buy it and they'll park it in the garage as soon as they've gone out in it a few games because they'll be frustrated because you have to drive backwards and it's a tricky tank however as you can see here once you get used to driving the thing it's really really formidable it's a funky little td and you can have a lot of fun in it but you've got to get used to driving it first and that's the tricky part you're going to face a lot of games where you're going to lose you're going to face a lot of games where you're going to get wiped out sooner rather than later and it's going to take you some time to get used to it even if you've got really good skills because i'm telling you driving a tank backwards and trying to work out where your gun's going to be is not the easiest thing to do it takes quite a bit of getting used to but as you can see as now as i said once you're used to it boy it's an effective machine i mean the reload is fantastic the gun is really good the penetration's good dishing out massive oodles amount of damage but because of the fast reload you're getting quite a good amount going out there let's be honest that's what you want the tank for you want it for a bit of fun a bit of enjoyment if you're a tank collector as i say then this is the tank for you it's unique there is no other tank in the game that goes faster backwards than it does forwards this is one of the most unique tanks in blitz other than the strav that really existed i mean you can talk about the hell thing the draculos and all that sort of stuff they didn't exist They're, they are pure fantasy tanks this thing is a real tank it really did exist in real life and it really saw action so you are getting primarily a real tank with a good history that is really unique to blitz and it will give you a bit of fun and that's what i like about it so there it is it's in the stores right now it's a backward tank it's good fun once you get over your initial frustrations and it's different it is very unique i've been fujit i hope this has been informative it's not a tank for everybody i totally agree um the cost it's not that unreasonable and if you you know if you haven't got it in your garage it's potentially worth a look if it's within your budget and with that you know if you've got any replays guys send them to the usual address fujitsblit at gmail.com by all means comment and like below and if you haven't yet and you really should please press subscribe it's a nice thing to do and it makes me happy and with that i will say stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking guys because you know that's what it's all about having fun and being happy and this little tank once you get over your frustrations, will and does have a tendency to put a little smile on your face because it's a funky little unique tank. So if it's within your budget, you're a tank collector or you just want something that's a bit unique and you've got the money to spend, consider it. You could do far worse, believe me. 
So, as I say before, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because it's all about fun and happiness. <laughs>